Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel, Chemistry Academy for ITJ and NEET. Today, in Feather in the Hat series, we are going to meet Aditya. We have known Aditya since he was in class 10. Aditya has done exceptionally well in ITJ 2022. He got All India Rank 53 in JE Advanced 2022, and in Mains, he was All India Rank 19. In Mains, he was the candidate who scored 100 percentile. And to add to it, he was 100 percentile in Chemistry 2. Adit is a KVPY scholar and was All India Rank 46 in Essex Stream. He also appeared for HBCAC organized Olympiads. In class 10, he qualified for OCSC for Junior Science Olympiad. In class 12th, in year 2021, he qualified NSEC. I have known him on a personal note as a very cheerful, smart, sensitive, and a helpful guy. I have always seen him helping his classmates with their doubts, notes, or in whatever way he can. So let's welcome Aditya. Hi, ma'am. Thank you. It's nice to meet you after so long time. It's been like two months. Thank you for having me on your channel also. It is always wonderful to meet you all guys. So Aditya, how does it feel to be in the stream of your dreams? And let me tell the viewers that Adit is currently is in IIT Mumbai in computer science branch, and we are recording this on online channel. Yes, Adit. So how does it feel? Yeah, it's good, ma'am. Like it's, uh, I'm feeling like an, I'm in my dream college, and that uh, like it is. Then that statement is false. Like uh, you'll work these two years, and then it's <laughs> completely free. That yeah, is not I... uh, true. Uh, you have to work, but uh, along with work, the enjoyment you receive is also good. Like. You have the freedom to choose here. In the JE preparation, it's like uh, all do same thing kind of thing. And here we have the freedom to choose things. So yes. it's like a good experience, a unique experience too. So you are really enjoying that is great. Uh, one more thing I would like to ask, when did you start dreaming for IIT? Like how did you know that you want to do IIT? From 8th, I was into the stream. And then in like maybe 10th or something like that, I was like completely focused. In 8th, 9th and everything, it was like not that uh, kind of focused. But yeah, in 10th ending something, I was a bit serious. And then due to COVID, again, it decreased a bit. There were too many distractions. Our exactly just after 10th, the COVID lockdown and everything started. So then it was a bit low. Then so 8th, maybe you could say 8th, 9th. Okay. So... Uh... What do you think, like starting early uh, preparations for IIT, does it have any edge or impact on your overall preparation for IIT? Yeah, like I could sum my three years to maybe first three months of 11th kind of thing. Like if you didn't study for those three years, maybe to get habituated to the atmosphere of JE, like JE preparation atmosphere is completely different if you're just preparing for boards or anything. So the atmosphere, to get habituated to that atmosphere, it would take time. If you come in 11, three or four months, like would take to get habituated to that thing. If I prepare 8, 9, 10, it won't be as rigorous, as rigorous as 11th and 12th, 8, 9, 10th preparation, but it would be like carefree only. And mostly we would focus on Olympiads and everything only. Okay. Olympiads and just basics like NCRT mm -hmm. and those things. So the 8th, 9, 10th preparation was like, it was uh, enjoyable and uh, studying also. 11th and 12th were more Say, studying. Like it was a bridge between what you think of 11th, 12th and what really 11th, 12th will be. Uh, yeah. But unfortunately, if someone has not done it, then only then also I think we can say that they just need a little more hard work. Hard work, yes. Right? Like in 10th uh, in boards and all, you'll have like, what is the molecular weight of this thing? And in 11th and 12th, you'll have like, what is the outcome of this reaction predicted like uh, these kind of hmm. things so it will just change like it's different domain 10th uh, boards and uh, and 11th and yes one more thing i find very interesting in your profile was that in uh, j main session 1 you scored 99.82 percentile which i think all over india whosoever will listen will say what wonderful but i saw you yourself a little disappointed with the result so was there any pressure? Consciously, I know that uh, I gave my best, so I uh, shouldn't be disappointed. But subconsciously still, as because I was trying for 100 percentile. And in my 
classmates there is a guy uh, like yashwan was uh, 100 percent so subconsciously there will be an impact and at that time i was like thankful to my teachers because then i knew like perfectly that teachers won't judge you based on the results they know what is the hard work you put into it yes. they, uh, like there was not even single uh, change in uh, how they view me in that one month j main session 1 to session 2 after result has announced there wasn't any change in how teachers interact with me i felt that very nice uh, so because of mm. that i was like confidently able to prepare for session 2 and then after scoring 100 percent yes. in session 2 i felt like uh, i could do something then that was the confidence booster for my j advance Yes, in fact, in the second attempt, you just nailed it. You were hundred percentile. You were hundred percentile in chemistry. And uh, that was what amazing. exactly uh, you did in that one month time? Like, what strategy? What hard work you put in that changed the whole scenario from you know ninety nine point eight two to exactly hundred percent? And come what may, and you are there. I felt it was like I didn't increase my concept levels more, but it was like I wasn't able to properly manage my time. and okay. the pressure which i used to take i feel i felt the same pressure in jee main session to also because uh, in first session how much uh, i wanted my 100 percentile to appear in the result page that that was the same amount i wanted to i want to secure 100 percentile in second shift also mm-hmm. so it was like amount of pressure was same the, but the way i handled changed because in that one month is what i felt like rather than the one thing i would suggest to the viewers or all uh, would be that don't focus on the result while you are attempting the uh, question paper just focus on you that you should get the question which is on the screen currently viewing you are viewing yes. you should get it right that is the only thing you have to focus that is that is in fact a very very important point you just made you made it very casually i might be but for students to absorb and practice it forget students even to people like of our age is very difficult that focus the moment don't think what will be followed what result will be and in fact that is the key to actually perform your 100% Uh, and one more thing i wanted to mention was like the j even software also it's like it will increase your tension in beside you can see the panel and how many questions are left you can see so as the number of questions are left is more like uh, if suppose i don't get a question and skip Uh, review it for later it's like one question is lost like most of the jee main shifts it's like 300 then only i would get 100 percentile if i get less i uh, won't so if i'm skipping a question it's like tension has uh, increased multifold so okay. it's like uh, that yeah. is also uh, that's also a factor like uh, that i want to say is don't uh, worry about skipping a question you can always come back and attempt and it will go right also most of the times like don't yes. take the pressure of skipping a question is what i want to tell a uh, one more thing i remember uh, correct me if i'm wrong somewhere in december 2021 uh, which was just 6 months ahead of your advance uh, you came to me you had a feeling in back of your mind that chemistry is not giving you the output you deserve in terms of marks you could have yes. got better we we did some chit chat and we decided some strategy can you please share what exactly you did on your end that ultimately bridge that feeling of yours or whatever you were feeling lacking 200 percentile in mains and a wonderful rank in advance it was in the revision phase first was organic and then inorganic during the inorganic phase i was feeling like organic is going low is what i felt like uh, if i can't let it continue like this without any change my organic would drown it in that sense of mind so i was feeling like normally also uh, i feel that chemistry is my weaker side subconsciously i wanted to remove that thing so that's why i came to meet you and uh, have a chit chat and all i felt that good like uh, you suggested me to read like half an hour to one hour daily organic also like whatever topics you feel weak in organic start by a topic then two three days uh, one topic you do like that you told and you gave me some practice paper or some questions to attempt yes. and that uh, actually increased um, it wasn't like Uh, i didn't know the concept it was like my confidence was low in the concept yes uh, because of that i used to like underperform in my chemistry thing in during exams maths and physics were all good but chemistry was like sudden drop if i am like second to someone then it's because of chemistry is what i felt at that time but you bridge that lack of confidence uh, definitely did wonders one more thing at this point of time december many of the students around india might have completed their syllabus for advance and mains Uh, what do you consider a very uh, comfortable time zone to have a complete and thorough revision which we in uh, hyderabad call phase 
to have complete chemistry done, organic and organic physical for mains and advanced. Uh, ours was like nearly 20 weeks thing, right, ma'am? Ours was like uh, 20 weeks. That is like uh, good. Like if your like classes are done and you're revising for the uh, first time, then 20 weeks is a uh, appropriately good time. I felt. Right. So that was uh, that was like the bare minimum you have. Okay. And what is the importance of that phase two? What what uh, is the yeah, effect of uh, that phase two on most of the average students around India? What could be? Yeah, uh, after listening the class, we may feel that we won't forget this for uh, what so number of years like that, but we'll definitely forget, especially chemistry has that specialty. You'll mm -hmm. definitely forget it. So that's what, uh, like, uh, revision is the key part. Like, at least uh, two, uh, three or four times, you, you must revise the whole syllabus before you attempt your JE advanced paper is what I feel. So uh, revision is most mm -hmm. important thing. Uh, one more thing I remember was on 28th of August, 2022 was advanced. And I think on 27th of August, you were running high fever. So yes. uh, you went to exam, I think, with paracetamol. So please share that experience and how it impacted on your, uh, you know, overall psychology and your, uh, if if any effect on your result too. <laughs> on 27th, uh, like afternoon onwards, I was having fever and I was sleeping upstairs itself in my uh, hostel room and everything. So it's uh, on 28th also, I had fe a fever reaching up to 102, 103 degrees yes. for me. Uh, so I was, uh, before the first exam, I took my uh, fever tablet, paracetamol, and then went into the exam. Just after going into the exam, after some time, it uh, go got lower temperature. Even then, I was like... The temperature gets lowered, but the uh, consciousness and everything is not in the normal state. It was very hard. Rather than the body feeling, it's like the mind feeling. I have got a fever on the, one of the most important day in my life. So it was like, so then uh, anti, uh, you were the one who told me the tablet too. Like, take like, tablets. That tablet didn't give me, uh, take tablet. Like that tablet didn't give me sleep effects or anything. Mm -hmm. The remaining uh, tablets, we feel kind of drowsiness. Uh, and then uh, I was like, uh, mentally, it would it, it, it had a toll on me. So it was hard to give an exam in that state of mind. I was like, this is the most important day of my life. This day must go well. So this is my advice to everyone. Things might happen. Like you might get a fever. You might get an injury in your right hand. Maybe if you're a right-handed person. And even then, don't try to get a feel low or anything. Uh, if you are fixed in your brain, then you can give in give the exam. How uh, whatever the state of state you are in. So you should mentally be prepared. No physical thing can stop you then. This type of thought process only makes Aditya special. So uh, from your experience, because as you told that when the corona started, uh, there was a little low in terms of your hard work. So uh, yes. you learned your own way. It didn't have a long-term impact. That was very good. But in general, uh, I think most of my students and viewers would like to hear from your experience what things or what, uh, you know, actions you think that most of the JE aspirants or any other competitive aspirants make, make, make mistakes that do this, do that. What you think they should avoid, which are normal things people do and ultimately uh, result in their loss of energy, time, or maybe even result. Just one of the things I would suggest is don't study in a day for too many hours or too less number of hours. And one more thing is every day touch all three subjects definitely. Like uh, because chemistry was my weaker subject, at least what I used to think that chemistry is my weak subject. Uh, because of that, uh, while improving my chemistry, I used to like neglect maths and physics. Due to that, uh, when my chemistry got improved, my maths and physics went down. So it's like when you're improving your weak subject, don't let hold of your stronger subjects. So uh, that is one of the important thing. And then study with interest and concentration and, uh, and focus kind of thing. And keep small targets and try to finish them kind of thing. Don't keep like long targets. Uh, in this week, I'll finish this. In this week, I'll finish this. Don't do that thing. In this hour, in this two hour gap, what I'll do? Uh, keep targets like that. That will help you is what I feel like. So in 11th and 12th, people uh, appear for HPCSC organized Olympiads. But the OCC time uh, collides with their general preparation time sometimes. Yes. What do you think? Like, what is the importance or does the Olympiad preparation till what stage aids to your JE preparation? I feel like the Olympiads are your 
first time you upset with the nationwide competition which you will again face in je main and je advance most of the people who write je main and je advance they write je these olympiads too especially physics and chemistry so you'll have a taste of your competition too so it is definitely uh, good to write those olympiads the second level of chemistry uh, the concepts are same but the way they ask and all is different so at least uh, first level is your uh, uh, best competition for J advanced and J main is what I feel. The questions would be also like J main and J advanced, but the between range they'll be first level questions. So it is definitely a good taste. You you'll get a taste of your competition. So that is uh, I definitely suggest a student to write uh, the Olympiads. Yes. So uh, Aditya, what exactly your advice to the juniors who are coming, you know, for next year J or the coming years of J? what is your advice to them or what is your word of wisdom to them i've heard a quote somewhere i've uh, modified it lightly a bit but the best time to start was at the 11th starting and the second best time is now so start now don't lose hope at any point of time there is always hope you can always mm-hmm. start now and finish well uh, don't ever feel that like 11th starting one topic is there you didn't do it well the, uh, you can always do it well uh, you can Im- improve on it and the teachers are always there to help and Uh, don't feel shy to approach teachers teachers don't mean that they only give conceptual advice they take care of your uh, mental well being also a lot so that was like a huge factor between my first mains and second mains shift uh, i already told that thing like uh, because of the point that uh, teachers didn't view me differently in that one month period uh, that was like one of the key factor to achieving my 100% in second shift so that was one of my advice and then don't uh, deviate for too long like if whenever you feel low in exams you get low marks there's always be some exams which you don't uh, which don't go well it might even be je main shift on session 1 also for me like that take a break not too long not too short maybe one day two day and then come back and then start doing well forget about the past you can't change it you can change the future so try to change it so concentrate on all three subjects equally uh, if you mm-hmm. have an interest in one subject like increasing 10 marks in that subject if i get score maths some uh, 90 marks something out of 120 to increase it to 100 the amount of effort i would take it is easily like i can go from 70 to 100 in chemistry kind of thing the chemistry is one subject which you can improve so quickly i felt so don't try to neglect any one subject try yes. to uh, give importance to please yes yes very very well said adit and it was really nice so what are your plans now like um, enjoying uh, iit mumbai and uh, no further plans after four years till now after four years further plans means not hard fixed plans i have some temporary thinking two three choices kind of thing yeah two so, three choices so yeah. uh, let's uh, wait for you to finalize your choices and then meet again after few years right yes, sure. thank you yeah, thank you uh, aditya for joining thanks a lot uh, thank you ma'am for Uh, letting me have this opportunity it was Thank nice you. to meet you also